planes, trains and automobiles. The sequel. So you would have seen the trains, the planes and the automobile. Well, OK, granted, you would have seen a train, plane, no automobile. Not yet. The travel is done. We're in. And over the next couple of days, uh, we'll be seeing the family. And uh, at some point, I might take you along too. So here I am uh, on the way to Ballina. And, uh, Take one look at the scene on the ground. Check this place out. Amazing, isn't it? One thing I forgot to say yesterday, uh, with the Tesco, we're going to take the UK club card. <laughs> I don't know why, but when we came here last year, this river was very high. This year, exactly the same. I think it could be the winter. It could be. So here we are at Enniscrony Beach. It's windy. Yeah, it's very windy. Lovely, don't it? Lovely. How amazing is this place? So I'm not sure how much you can actually hear, but um, a year ago, this is where we came before I met my family, and we came here then after we met my family. That was uh, just over a year ago. In that time since, a lot has happened, an awful lot has happened. Um, to be honest, I didn't really think I'd actually ever get back here. Yeah, or, or anyway, for that matter. And this little trip before Christmas um, started on the anniversary of my, my doctor mum's passing yesterday. So today is a very this is a full circle moment. This year has been tough. It has been tough. Can't deny that. But, um, you know, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Thanks, Kelly Clarkson, for that. And, uh, yeah, so um, here we are at the beach in the winter, having a little wonder. It's quite lovely to just taking it all in, just breathing enjoying and uh, yeah and here's the other thing look I know the hat it's a week from Christmas and here I am on a beach in an elf hat lovely uh, because I don't know what it is last year when we came we realized everybody wears hats you know a bobble hat proper bobble hat don't know somebody's plans to tell me no it's not true is winding you up but um and for the record i was going to go all the way down there but you see this little river see the river there see it 
Yeah. That's why it can't cross over. Because I'm not. I'm not that bonkers. So while I'm sat down, let's give a bit of an insight to this actual trip. Um, me and my anxiety, sometimes we, we don't get on. It kicks my butt and um, it's my brain. But, you know, somehow you don't just gotta just do it. So we booked the flight, booked the train, the car. Uh, the car hire thing was probably the most stressful part of everything because the, the time the flight was going to get into Knock Airport was the time everything was shutting. As things happened, got off the plane in Knock, walked off the plane, walked through the tarmac, walked through security. The carousel started within a minute, uh, went straight to the uh, counter, and uh, yeah. That was the easiest part of all. Then, um, having my car sat nav on a phone with the phone connected to the car, uh, it didn't last night, it did today. Managed to sort it. In the light of day, it's much easier. Went to Tesco and then found the Airbnb. So that's the, the thought process. If you look at each step, uh, because in each part of the trip yesterday, uh, there was uh, two changes on the train. That could have gone wrong. It didn't. But if you look at things overall, um, you just sometimes gonna have to do it. And not worry. There's always a plan B, always. Um, I had plan C and plan D in my head too. And uh, here I am now, on a beach, uh, a week Friday before Christmas day. And um, it's lovely, it really is, it's so nice. It's cold, and here we are uh, outside. It's um, half past four, and uh, yeah, uh, it's the end of uh, a really nice day here in um, in Sligo. So the last time you would have seen this, uh, we were we were down at Enniscrony Beach. We now ventured out about the next day. Uh, last night. Went to see the family. Lovely evening, watching Cory. I'm in Ireland, I'm watching Cory. Yeah, this is how it is. Uh, so we're now in Tubbercarry. Uh, Tubbercarry is one of those places that um, I thought this is a maiden name. It really is, but um, no, it's real. This is Tubbercarry. I'm outside Foley's Bar. I hope you are no crazy. Um, but yeah, we'll give you a little, a little bit of a tour of, uh, of Tubbercarry. So here I am in Riverstown. Uh, just come back from from the Irish fam. That's what I call them the Irish fam, I know. And uh, getting ready to to pack up really. Uh, we're off early first thing in the morning. It's been two full days. Uh, it's four days in total, but it, it doesn't really doesn't really count, you know. This place is lovely though. This is Riverstone. Isn't it lovely? Look at it. What a place. Um, I suppose it's quite a quite a sad moment really for me to be going back home. But then I know I'm coming back again. Um, because five years ago something like this would never have happened. Mainly because I hadn't found my own family. Um, but yeah. I have, and uh, here we are in, in Riverstone. Coming back to my Airbnb to to get ready for the for packing and stuff like that.
So here I am on the, the last evening of being in Ireland. It's been, it's been hectic, it's been brilliant. Um, a year ago when we came here, first of all, I didn't really expect that a year later, it would take a year to come back uh, with everything that's gone on in the last 12 months, being ill, work-wise, you know, life really. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been everything. Um, just realising as well, you haven't seen the little Airbnb. This is the Airbnb. Quite nice, isn't it? They're lovely. Um, do a little, a little show of the, the bedroom. Cozy, nice. I would show the bathroom. Let's show the bathroom. Bathroom, shower, nice. Yeah, lovely. I'm trying to put into words everything that I've been thinking about in the last two days about being back in Ireland, um, going to places where we went last year and kind of revisiting them just to kind of get moments you, you would have seen on this video. Um, I don't know if I've actually lost the words, I think I am. For a long, long time, being adopted was just, that, that's what I was. Uh, I, you know, tell us something special about you. I'm adopted and that's how I'd always be. Um, but being adopted does not make me me. I make me me. <laughs> Um, and I kind of like who I am now, uh, although, you know, some days are better than others, can't deny that, but, generally speaking, yeah. Now I'm trying to think now, but after this little bit, yeah, um, the next little bit you'll see will be, um, the travel home. So in the meantime, thanks for, thanks for checking me out on this little bit of solo traveling. We will be back in Ireland very soon. I know we will. Because now we've done it once, it's like easy. And um, yeah. And if don't catch you soon, happy Christmas. Here's to a much better 2024. And um Thanks for checking me out. Good morning then. Uh, the picture of the numbers began. The car has been dropped off. And they're waiting in uh, Knock Airport. It's lovely. Pretty small, tiny. Quick for security and everything. Cost you 10 years to get out of the country. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, still a bit of a montage.